Hello, this is Son, and I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to connect the motors and the main board and the NASA on your Phantom. So that way, if you do take it apart, add a new motor or anything, you'll know the diagram. So the first thing you have to remember is that when you take on and off the shell, that these two X or two lines or the indentation of the lines are facing backwards because these arrows are very important when you put it on the blade. Let's say that you put it on and you accidentally put it like so. These uh, corresponding um, uh, arrows would not match your blade and so your Phantom won't fly properly. So just make sure that when you take it on and off that you leave it on like so. Okay, so I took the canopy off with the shell off and so the first wire I'm going to show you is a GPS and that connects to the EXP right here, okay? And then the LED light or USB is connected to the LED. So I'm just gonna connect that to show you where it goes. So it's right here. Okay, then this is the receiver right here. So that goes into X2. And this is the main board where all the motors are connected to the NASA. And that goes into X3. Now the X1 is for the gimbal. Let's say you um, uh, use a Zemuse and you would want to control it. Uh, you would plug into X1 and on a controller you would use the X1 uh, back here. So this is, this is X1. Okay. All right. And then, um, okay, so the motors uh, are like so. So this is motor one, which is goes in M1. Motor two goes to M2. Motor three. M3 and motor 4, M4. Now, it's good to know that whenever you place these wires, if you solder on and off, that the right side will go to the right and the left side will go to the left. So it's just for, um, you know, it's common sense, but uh, sometimes uh, it's good to know that. And then also, if you look at these wires, notice that the black is to the ground, but look at the red and yellow. So for these two opposing sides, the red is no more towards the center while on these um, uh, adjacent, the yellow is more towards the center. So you just got to look at that. So you got to make sure that you put the motor in correctly if you solder on and off. So that way the blades, the motor would spin in the correct direction. So I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment or questions below. Okay. Thank you and have a good day.